Guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome back to another episode of Escape Simulator. And today we are going to be tackling the final level in the space themed area. And this one is called Spacewalk. So um, I'm assuming like with the Labyrinth of Egypt, this one's going to be a bit longer and there's going to be like quite a lot of puzzles packed into this one. But um, we'll see. Uh, and But without further ado, let's jump in and let's... Um, Go and see if we can't do what we need to do. All right, so we need to get engines, fuel, and batteries. Oh. You ever get the impression you like made a mistake about something? There we go. All right, so that's got a battery right there. Um, not really sure. That's what we need to do with it. But, um, hmm. All right, so we've got some panels, which we can take off. Looks like we need to undo of some bits and pieces as well. Okay. Um, got a note from the captain. We didn't have a look replacing this used keypad. We will replace it with the new one when we get to the base. Also, just a reminder, a key, the keypad still accepts a password only in ascending order. All right, so whatever, wherever we find the password, then we've got to kind of like um, change the order of it, I guess. Okay. Okay, so we connected the wires. Not sure what that did. We have a tablet. Okay, so then we've got another one on this side, it seems. We've got a display failure. Okay, so I guess we're going to copy one on this side. So it's blue, red, blue, red, yellow, green. Blue, red, Yellow, green. Excellent. What did that do? All right, so that's the engine power. We've we've sorted our engine power. Um, primary tank sensor is down. Enter tank status manually. Secondary sensor readings are available on the hatch control unit. Use this on the second one. One five one five. So one one three five. I think. No. Okay. I thought that would be the, the combination. One five three one. A T shaped pipe, L shaped, I shaped pipe, and an L shaped pipe. Okay. Did it say. The keypad still accepts password only in ascending order. One, one, three, five. Okay, maybe the, I'm guessing there's going to be another, going to be another password then. Um, all right, so we have here. Okay, so here we have 
We need to pull up our schematic. I know I'm kind of going here from from place to place here. I do apologize, but so here. Goodness me. Oh, okay. I think I see this. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're going to have um, one, two, three, which then comes down. Yeah. Okay. This is hatch four, right? Oh, wait a second. Do I not need... Hmm. Pipe induct, pipe induct. Yeah, okay, this is um it's a little bit complicated, I'll be honest. Let me uh, go back to my crane here a minute. If I can like drop that on myself. Just for the lols. <laughs> uh, anyway, I'm massively distracted. I guess that one goes into D. I'm going into C. Eight. Yeah, I don't I don't fully understand like the numbers. I thought it was gonna be a case like obviously we've got three here and three there. Um, and then the, obviously the top bit occupies four spaces. But I'm not so sure. Okay, we can pull out the battery compartment. Ah, okay. So I'm guessing I can repair this some way? So I need to find like one of these kind of cell things, right? Which I'm guessing is going to be in there. Now, again, I don't know... I'm not entirely sure how... Or where that other code is for that area. Also, where is the hatch control unit? I guess we need to. Okay, I guess we need to figure this puzzle out first. Maybe.
quite possibly. I'm still not sure, though. Oh, wait a second. No, the password is 2357. Look at the, the markings on here. Aha! Aha! Okay, then we do... Can you turn around, please? Thank you. Do that. Now we can pick it up with a crane again. Place it in here. Excellent. So our engines are ready to go. So now it's just this whole fuel hatch thing. Now I think I don't I don't think I need to worry about the schematics here. I think what I need to worry about is what connects up to what. So that pipe's cracked, then this one comes down. And I'm going to want to rotate that there. Maybe actually here instead we need a T-junction. Like that, then that, then that. That's all connected up to there. That's going to go into there and into there. Now this one as well, I think we probably want the other T. We've got another T-junction. Put that there. That's going to nowhere, is it? And we could say that about that, though. Yeah, I'm not sure, like, the schematics... How do I patch control unit? Where is the hatch control unit? It's something with these pipes. I, N, and zero, I, I, X, and N. Wonder if like these numbers at the top were something to do with the numbers. Obviously we've only got three to enter there though, haven't we? E1 and E2. Comes in somewhere from here. Da, 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 into the middle. And then route it up here like this. Yep. 
I'm going to route it up again here. Put in a T junction here. Put in a corner here. Then put in that and that. How do we know the tank status? Can we see something from this crane? No, there's nothing there. I'm guessing it's like nitrogen, oxygen, and um, I can't remember what the other element was. We we did uh, come across that on the period periodic table uh, a couple of um, episodes ago, didn't we? I'm not uh, not understanding what we need to do with these pipes. I don't get it. Oh. What's this? Hold on. Ah, oh, man. Okay. So, one, four, three. Uh, yeah, so IX is four, N is one. No? Okay. Um, also, how do we then open... I'm guessing we can open these hatches here, right? So, B... Uh... So B and D. B O one. B O four. Okay, so I get it from this one points to B and that one points to there. So D D08? No. D10.
There isn't anywhere that really directly links to D, though, is there? Okay, but let's take this off. Okay, so now... We might be able to do what we need to do. Okay, but we are going to have to open D. D08. Hold on. No, hatch three. Sorry, hatch three is C06. Oh, man. Now, the amount of, like, escape room stuff I've done, and still I fall short of, like, the issue where I just do not look at things properly. Okay, so now we have access to all of these. I think we've just got to make a path through here. Okay, so that's connected to that. Is that what I need to do? Oh, that's why that's not working. That needs to be one, not two. Why did I put two on end? It's definitely one, three, four. Not four, is it? Six. Ah, uh, six, two, four. Ah, oh, jeez. Six, four, two. Let's try that. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh. Um, hold on. Maybe instead we just swap this around like this. Oh, we just need to make a... Ah, oh, okay. No, I've got this completely wrong. I don't need to join it up at all. I need to link... This. To there. Hold on. Um, let's get rid of this pin. Do I just need to like link this up as well? Oh, hold on. No, okay. I, yeah, that's what the T bar's for. So, yeah, we got we got to root it off this one. Then we can place this down here. I think we're almost there. We're almost there. If I place the right piece, of course. The handle. Yay! <laughs> okay, um, that wasn't too bad. I, I feel like I made that a little bit more 
difficult than it needed to be, mainly because I didn't properly explore. And that's one thing I would always say about when you do uh, an escape room or like this sort of puzzle game, is always explore every little inch of your surroundings because it will catch you out as I've just proven right there. Um, but um, you'll be thinking, oh, well, I don't know, what can I do? I can't do anything. And then um, you realize, actually, you can do something. So uh, also, I think I've just seen a, uh, a token. Right there. Floating in space as we're doing our um, doing our wind down. But yeah, there we go. That's all of the space episodes completed for um, Escape Simulator. When we return, we'll be jumping into the, I think it's like a Victorian style one, in like a mansion or a manor or something. So uh, yeah, that'll be really interesting to um, take a look at that and see what sort of puzzles we get in there. But until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate your support. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Stay safe. Happy gaming.